Hunters around in space with a big sword because they don't know what to do with Captain Marvel. You know, she's just like him. She's just like Captain Marvel, though. I think she goes by binary. I mean, she's already punched a dude in the face. Because, you know, totally how a human would react to a flaming spirit creature. Uh, he told her she'd probably look better in a dress. Because that's, that's legit. That's how a human's going to act when they see some spewing energy fire from its face. Well, we were able to recoup, like, half the lives we lost. That's good. Um, I don't even know about DC. I haven't been paying attention. Like, to tell you the truth, didn't I die here a lot? I think I died here a lot. That's fine. This place sucks. Ah! Whatever. Got, Got him. Oh my goodness. Okay. I need to go through that door, I think. Please, game. Okay. Nope. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, um, buying old stuff, though, because usually they're not printing it anymore, and they're not making money off of that. Like, it'll be something like an old bookstore. I'm dead. I'm not? Can you please j Go for the gold. Go for the gold. Okay. Whatever. Fuck it, no one cares. Yeah. I literally think that's like a shortcut. Oh. You would be able to ooh, be able to fire that shit off before I could finish you. All right, we're halfway there. I was not paying attention at all. I literally just almost threw my life away. Again, I need to focus. And then, you know, we got, uh... Oh! Xenoverse! Uh... Reminded me of, like, old shit. Well, before that, let me finish my story about, like... Old comics I bought. I just bought... The full thing... I'll talk about it on the way back. I, I just bought, like, the full thing of, uh... Spider-Man 2099, the old one. Is, I love, he's my favorite Spider-Man. He's like the one I read about for, like I knew who Peter was because the first comic book I ever got was Infinity War. You know. He was like the first person to sense that something was wrong when Thanos snapped, so. I knew he was, I know the cartoons, but the one I read first was uh, about Miguel. So, you know, that was awesome seeing him, you know, seeing him again. Then I bought Batman No Man's Land. And oh my god, that is such a long fucking book. That's like, it's one of my favorite Batman stories, but good god. Nope. Yeah, that was such a long story. Alright, alright. Okay. I don't gotta worry about this now. Jump, jump, please. Jump, okay. Nope. I, I swear to God I hate this game, bro. It's like, um, what is it called? But yeah, it, it was ve a very long book. It, uh, and I mean, like, the first volume of it was, like, 200 or, like, 400-something pages. It just shows you how long that shit was. I like it. Now, see, to me, it's a very good story. Because it, it's literally... Ugh. Fuck it. I can't. I can't go back for it. I can't. 
it's literally, um, like, Gotham got hit with, like, a huge earthquake and everything was gone. Like, the government declared it was just lost, they're not sending any aid, they, like, cut off all the bridges so no one could get in or out of it without their say. Batman went missing for, like, I think, like, six months. And, like, a new Batgirl showed up. Because, you know, uh, Barbara was dealing with her I got shot in the back condition. Eh. Or got shot in the spine condition. You know, that lasted for a real long time. That lasted until a reboot, now that I think about it. Like, the whole universe had to be reset before they were like, Yeah, she should probably walk again. Which is... Wow, that, that detail to continuity. Am I dead? No. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm taking this slow and steady. Even though I probably shouldn't be... Ugh. As long as you fuckers don't throw anything, I'm good. Oh! I didn't know there was a ceiling there. Oh my god. And it gives you a cape at the end. Nice. Uh, there we go. What was her shit again? Her, her shit. His. My bad. Sorry. I can't get that one. This thing's in the way. What? Oh my god. And there wasn't a halfway point, was there? No, there wasn't. Great. Now, I can just go back, do a level, and say, fuck this, but I want to do this properly. But as I was saying, I'm definitely buying a fucking controller or a um, wireless uh, NES controller for this. <laughs> or has NES controller for this, my bad. But yeah, it was a good book. I do enjoy it. It's just super fucking long, bro. Uh, also, I believe it's what's. If they make a sequel to. Um, the Batman. I'm pretty sure at the end of what it looked like, all that messed up stuff that was going on, that's the story they were alluding to was, uh, Batman No Man's Land, so. I would suggest picking it up from, like, a bookstore somewhere. I'm like, just focus on old. The new stuff just don't work. But there's a fly in my room again. It's always the worst moment. This thing did not exist legitimately until I had to be like, oh, let me record something real quick because I'm out of space. There's a blue. Where the blue one at? There, there was a red in here. Oh, we we can't get the blue. It's not. Wait. I don't think I did this right. I think I did the secret, and I didn't want to do the secret. Did I not do this right? Did I just crash Bandicoot 2 myself again? Yes, I did. Oh, Whatever, we're getting close to that time. Because I legit need to sleep for work. I did not mean to, you know, this was, did not, this was not supposed to happen. Okay. Put that back. Alright, 
and they... Yeah! Okay. And I'll take you with me. Why? We don't know. Just come on the adventure, Mr. Spring. Also, th this was a fun thing before I, I, you know, we set up to end it off. That's what happens when you bring an item with you to the end. It becomes a life. But, um... As much as I don't, like, focus on the old, The Simpsons is another fine choice because they literally just did a promotion. I, I guess, like, a short or something. I don't remember what it was because I haven't cared about The Simpsons in, like... Like, uh, years. It's been like 10, 15 years. But, um, they did this short where I guess. What the fuck was her name again? Uh, Billy Eilish, I think? One of them. One of those cookie cutter celebrities. Uh, but. She. She's going to be in it because you know they they always have celebrities in um in Simpsons, but like when she meets Lisa because of course uh Le you know it's some girl doing different stuff and Lisa's the character you want to put all that nonsense on anyways. Not her doing different stuff, but Lisa's the one who's like, oh well, you know this is how everyone should be, even though it's not. Uh. But yeah, she was like, she asked Lisa apparently like, oh, because you know she has her saxophone that she's most famously known for, you know, playing it and like expressing herself through her music mostly. Well, usually instead of, you know, complaining about everything like a common Twitter thread. I can't, I can't fly off this. I, oh, I can I can. This stupid fish isn't getting me. You're not getting me, fish. Come on. Come on. But yeah, um... She asked her, does your dad, like, not care? He's like, well, my dad doesn't mind it if he, you know, is drunk and he's not... And he has ear, his ears plugging somewhere else. You know, insinuating that he hates her music when he was the fucking one in the early days of the show that bought her the goddamned um saxophone i believe he got in a fight with someone i don't remember who it's been a long time uh like i think it was mr burns or someone he was like it's like how fucking dare you get in my my daughter like try to get in the way of my daughter's dream of being a musician and like Etched in it is him wishing her good luck, you know, good fortune. And, like, he hopes everything goes well for her. Like, in the achievement of her dreams. For, you know, for being a musician. And now it's just like, no, he doesn't care at all. Why would he care? I'm like, I hate... I hate... I hate new versions of like ship cuz they you know they did that on purpose. Oh uh, what? Mm. Because you know, he has to be the idiot. He has to hate everything. It's it's like what they did to Peter and Stan. Well, Stan started off like that, but you know, he was only doing it for the he was only doing what he thought was right to keep like his family and his country safe. Now it's just, uh, no, he's an idiot. Like, his, he was paranoid, yes, but that's because he was fucking raised to be that way. I mean, his dad is a goddamn supervillain. So, you know, dude's got trust issues, but now, now it's just, oh, no, idiot. It's like Peter. He's a, a lovable, like, I wouldn't say an idiot, but, like, a lovable oaf. Who gets into crazy hijinks when he's you when he's usually trying to help someone out or do something, you know, just just whatever he's trying to get done. Now it's just hey, he's an idiot, and he's like a narcissistic asshole. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. It's just, it, it's real. It's fucked up. I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say it's bad, because, you know, people still watch it. People like it. I'm not gonna disparage things you like. It's just, personally, I don't care for it. Okay. I just, yeah. There we go. Fuck you, Resnor. But yeah, I, I just think it's a little bit disparaging to see that the dude who started her on this path, magically, he just doesn't care. Whatever. But you know what? I'm gonna end it off here. It's been about an hour. Uh, it's like four something. Yeah, I'm ending it off. I'll uh, hopefully talk to you guys in the next recording session of either Paper Mario or Pokemon. This is just a last minute thing. Um, probably uh, will get me through the weekend. I'll record again on Tuesday and get the stuff out. But leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. It is cooking in this fucking room, dude. I'm going to turn my second fan on and I'm probably going to go to sleep. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.